Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Hmm. Um, Scorpio, if you found the message or the message found you, that means there may be something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. I thank you for like, share, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and I thank you again. You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Pay it no mind. This is all energy, no gender. And remember, roles can always be reversed. Hmm. Somebody's about to get their feelings hurt. I feel like either... Hmm. See, that's what's funky right now. I know I, I pulled a wisdom of the oracle, by the way, because I'm in the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Um, I'm ready to get started here. Um, deep knowing is what you pulled. My attention is on this orphan at the bottom of the deck. Deep knowing talks about um, intuitive abilities. It talks about um, wisdom. It talks about um, understanding. Um, uh, kind of like experience has taught you, life has taught you, inner in, intuition is leading you, guiding you, um, and advising you. I want to say it like that. Scorpio, I feel like you know deep down, deep, deep, deep down, that somebody's about to get their feelings hurt. That's how I feel. I, Yep. Somebody's about to get their feelings hurt. So you're either sensing somebody about to approach you and you've already prepared that yourself to let them down um, easily, of course. However, um, or Scorpio, you feel like if you pursue something, it's going to be uh, no, damn it. That's how this feels. Just plain and simple. Not maybe, just no, you know. Um, for some of you, it's a career, I ain't gonna lie, a job. Um, it's like you go over and over in your head, like, should I even waste my time? Or, yeah, maybe, yeah, I want to say it like that, job. Something you want to maybe apply for that you have to pay the fee. And you don't want to pay the fee because you think it's going to be declined anyway. You, you understand what I'm saying? Um, it, it feels like that as well. It's not all about love here, but for a lot of, some of you, yeah, a lot of you, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> mm, heavy Aquarius is here. Um, that's the thing. It's like this Aquarius, mm, you either know deep down that they're not the one or they're re realizing that it's like somebody is realizing deep down that this is not going to happen. God darn. I'm intrigued. Let's see what's going on. I'm um, doing your tarot spread here with uh, hmm, Secret. Center Energy. Thank you. Five of Cups. Yeah. Hello. We have a breakup, a separation, or a serious issue uh, or energy, I should say, of some type of letdown to the 25th mother loving power. Crown the energy for Scorpio. We have a three of swords in reverse. Overall, it don't even hurt that bad. It's kind of like, I knew it was gonna happen, I just don't like the way it happened. You know what I mean? Uh, what's undermining you? God darn. Seven of swords reverse. Um. Seven of Swords in uh, reverse talks about having all the facts. And it's like, maybe in this case, the more you know, the worse it is. Or the more they know, the worse it is. But their deep knowing is your first card. 
It was like this. Mm -hmm. Who know what about who? See these swords? Heavy Aquarius is here. Uh, what's the past energy? What brought this judgment? It was a final call. You made a final call on somebody or something or somebody did with you. Where's this going? You're very clear about what, the, what you're doing. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Okay, three of wands here. So you might be pursuing something else or you're waiting for something else to pursue you uh, or to present itself. Let me say it like that, another situation, because it doesn't have to be, you know, love. It could be an, just an opportunity that you're waiting for it to uh, open up. But there's a letdown and there's some heartache here and you know it was going to happen. Somebody feelings is hurt. Look at that nine of swords right there. And it felt like an Aquarius. There you go with the tower. Yeah. And the, where are you going? I want to know. Hangman. Why is this hangman in reverse? Huh. I don't know where I'm going, but I know what I want. That's what you're saying. I know I don't want this. And I don't know how I'm going to get it. But I'm going to hold on to what I got until an opportunity presents itself. Because when this thing, because this is definitely over. But when this thing happened, you on your way. Yeah. Scorpio, I ain't mad at you. All right. So we got a situation here. Situation looks like there's a, definitely for some of you a relationship ending. Or you're waiting for hmm, uh, an opportunity to end it. Because it seems that something got out of your hands. Something slipped through your fingers. And you realize now that um, it was precious to you. Okay? The thing about this, with this Three of Swords in reverse, it doesn't feel like what slipped through your hands was from no type of third party or some type of betrayal. There's no hurt, but there's hurt. I can't explain how I'm feeling about this Three of Swords in reverse. When the Three of Swords uh, appears upright, you're talking about hurt and betrayal, uh, heartache, things like that. And in the reverse, it's the healing process of. But this more so feels like it's confirming this Three Cups. It's like, I've dropped these cups, but it was kind of like happenstance. It was circumstance. It wasn't something specific. Like, it was just bad timing. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's not, it's not a hurt, but it's a hurt if that makes sense, okay? Um, and it seems like the more you realize that, the more you can't even deal with who you're with or don't want to be with who you're with. I ain't going to lie. But you know if you separate from that person, they're going to feel left out in the cold. Like, how could you do this to me? I think that you've made up your mind some time ago to do it, but for some reason you've been dragging on actually doing something about it. Um, I think you're very clear on where you want to go with this situation, even if it's to be on your own. Um, I, but you wait for a window of opportunity to make a move, which means that this situation is still being dragged. Okay. So Scorpio, instead of fretting about this, okay, and waiting for divine intervention, you can just own your truth and make a move. I'm just saying. I think the longer you wait, the more it's going to uh, be difficult for both of you, even though for you, this is so clear and crisp. It's like a, a nice, uh, you know, sunny winter day. You know what I mean? If that makes sense to you weather-wise. I don't know how else to explain. I want to say it just like that. A really sunny winter day, that crisp air. You know, this is crisp to you. You know exactly, you know, what this is. It feels good, smells good. It's like, that. you know what I mean? That cold air going in your lungs, just waking you up. And that's how this feels. Like you've, you've had this wake up and you can't shake it, you know, and you're trying to get on the bus and jump in on blind faith. Cause that's how this hangman feels in reverse. You see, I left it like that. Um, it's like you know what you want. You know what you want, even if you can't have it. 
I'm just saying. God darn it, you have got to be kidding. All right, y'all. I apologize for that. All right. Um, I hope this helps. You know what? Let's just take a peek. I'm so newsy. I am so curious about what you gonna do. I ain't gonna lie. Let me get another deck. Hold on. I'm curious. Scorpio. I want to clarify why information is not power. Why is it more you feel that the more you know, the worse it is? Uh, Seven of Swords, Undermining Scorpio. Please clarify. God darn. Four of Wands. It's like the more you know or realize, the more you realize that you, it's not for you. If you're not in balance, um, you're not happy. You know, this ain't fun. How about that? This ain't fun. Seven of Cups in reverse. Future energy. You know exactly what you want. And it's like with the sun, you know, it's not only the happiest card in the deck, it's also the brightest, you know, it's very illuminating energy. It's like, I know, I see clearly. I just, I see mother loving clearly. I see it all. Let me get one more future energy. Can I get one on an action? Matter of fact, hold on. Let me, what are they going to do? Let me get one on that three of wands. The father of air, you're going to reach out or somebody's going to reach out and have a real truthful conversation. And the two of fire is at the bottom of the deck. The decision's been made. Even though they drag in the boat, they, they, somebody's pursuing you or you're suing, you're like, your 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 person. I don't even know how, like you want to take this leap of faith. You have the two of water, the fool and offer this cup of love saying we belong together. <laughs> Six of water, we've been together before, we belong together. You realize that, you know, you've grown. That's what they're gonna say, or that's what you're saying, I've grown up. You know, I know I've been, I, right now you just feel stuck or they feel stuck, you know, but you think that they're the best for you and you feel that the feeling is mutual if they can see you in your new light. That's what it is. Mm. Oh, Scorpio. Wow, that was interesting. Okay, guys, I hope this helps. If any of it, none of this resonates. It's all right. Check out your moon and rising. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so that you're notified of future readings. And guys, remember that we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.